<clears throat> Hi everyone, <clears throat> it's me, Sailor Neptune Michelle here, and today I'm gonna, hold on, oh yeah, alright, and tonight, or <clears throat> this evening, I'm gonna talk about my thoughts on the Royal Rumble, or known as the King, the King Rick Loudness. So we had the Royal Rumble, or the King, the King, uh, King Rick Loudness, and it was the kickoff. And at first we had um, Chad Gable fight Sheamus O'Shaughnessy. Good fight. I liked it. I thought they did a good job in it. You know, good fight. You know, and uh, Sheamus O'Shaughnessy beat Chad Gable. Then the next fight we had was Alberto Carrillo fight Andrada, Andrada, Andre, Andrada Ciambas for the WWE United States or Kindled, or Kittled, raw, I guess raids, yeah, winnings. <clears throat> so that was another good fight too, and I liked it. I felt they did very well. The, this was a good fight. <clears throat> uh, at the end, El. At the end, Andre, Andrada Ciambas speed Alberto Carrillo. Then it was the Royal Rumble itself, or the King King Rick uh, Loudness. And that was first Roman Reigns and King Baron Corbin. And fights count any track anywhere fight. And they went everywhere, and they did everything to each other. I thought it was a good fight. <clears throat> a lot of folks probably thought that King Baron Corbin was going to win, but at the end, Roman Reigns beat him. And then it was the women's one. And there was a lot of, some ones in there, like Molly Holly and Kelly Kelly were in there. I thought it was good. I, I liked it, you know. And at the end, I thought it was a good one. And it was won by Charlotte Flair. And I thought all the women did a good job in it. Then after that, we had, after that, we had Lacey Evans fight Bailey for WWE SmackDown Women's Heavyweight Winnings. A good fight. I thought that Lacey Evans and Bailey worked very well in this fight. And at the end, Bailey beat Lacey Evans. Then after that, we had Daniel Bryan fight Bray Wyatt for WWE World <coughs> for the World Heavyweight Winnings, and a strap fight. Good fight. They went all over. Used the whip many times. I thought this fight was good. At the end, Finn uh, Bray Wyatt beats Daniel Bryan and keeps the World Heavyweight Winnings. Then we had. Becky Lynch fight Oscar for WWE Raw Women's Heavyweight winning. Good fight. You know, a lot of back and forth. And a lot of folks thought Oscar was going to win. But at the end, Becky Lynch beats Oscar and keeps the WWE Raw Women's Heavyweight winnings. Then it was the men's battle royal. The men's uh, Royal Rumble or King, King Rick. King Rick. Yeah, King Rick loudness. And this was something. You had Brock Lesnar throw folks out doing what Diesel and Steve Austin and Kang and Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman did before him. A lot of folks were being thrown out. I mean, you saw a lot of surprise entries and a lot of folks you didn't think you'd see in it, like Montel, Vertadius Porter, and was MVP. A fan mistake because Santina Morella was in the women's one as Santina Morella. Forgot the forgot to say that back to the men's one um you also in this fight also got to see edge who came back you know and uh i was thought it was good you know i was really good though and i liked how every i liked how brock lesnar threw a lot of folks out but at the end it was drew mcintyre who won it so i'm very happy with that i thought all the fights were good the two fights on a kickoff and the fights on the show itself are good too. Now I know a lot of a lot of irked and mad W followers are going to bitch and say it wasn't good enough for them. And they're never happy with it. The AEW followers are going to say, "Oh, our show in February is going to be more good." The IW followers are going to claim are going to say, "Oh, Hard to Kill was more good." Whatever, you know, they're going to say it. They're going to say, but I believe I thought it was a good show and I liked it. I'm Sailor Neptune, Michelle, and I'll see you tomorrow.